I'm about to reveal a strategy born from over 12 years of best-selling publishing and years of top-ranking sales experience. It follows proven strategies from psychology, sales, and education. I used to be a science teacher, a high school teacher for 10 years. Here are the three core elements for creating nonfiction. Over 1 million books are published every year, which is about 3,000 every day. Fortunately for you, as busy as you are, most of those aren't worth reading. Most people know how to write, but all, almost no one realizes there is a hidden framework that best-selling authors know about. Those are the books that change lives and build businesses. As a Genius Network member, one or more of those life-changing books are probably why you're here today. Yet you might think you could never achieve this for yourself. However, with the right knowledge, not skill, anyone can learn this framework and have their own best-selling book. Chris O'Byrne is a co-founder of Conversion Publishing and the founder of Jet Launch. Companies that help entrepreneurs and business leaders dramatically grow their business by publishing powerful books. For over 12 years, Chris and his team have helped design and publish books for people you all know, such as Dan Sullivan, the co-founder of Strategic Coach and a 100K member and longtime Genius Network member, as well as John Lee Dumas from Entrepreneur on Fire, Joe Vitale, one of the main stars on The Secret, along with over 10,000 more authors and publishers. Chris and Andrew, his co-founder in Conversion Publishing, have created a powerful framework that Chris is going to share with you in his talk, Writing Viral Nonfiction with the 3E Method. Please help me welcome Chris O'Byrne. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tim. So, yes, writing viral nonfiction is even easier than you think and can make you thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the secret is to use a framework that's already been proven through centuries of writing. The 3E method, as discussed in our soon-to-be-released book, not only uses that proven framework, but incorporates the important psychological principles of know, like, and trust. There we go. By the way, I have a handout for you at the end of the presentation, so you don't have to worry about taking notes, and there'll be a link for you, geniusnetwork.com slash 3E. So why should you care about writing a book? Because books have been powerful motivators for centuries and will continue to be long into the future. Even within the Genius Network, you've seen a glimpse of how powerful they can be with books from Joe Polish, Dan Sullivan, Ben Hardy, Dan Sullivan and Ben Hardy, Cameron Harold, and many others. And of course, Jim Dew in his own masterpiece, Beyond a Million. <laughs> Even Ryan Levesque at our last meeting talked about how he used books to his books to dramatically grow his business. Now, books are excellent at bringing more and better leads, which all of us could use in our business. Most nonfiction books, however, are poorly organized. They ignore stories and emotional connection. They're painful to read all the way through, thrown together from rough transcriptions, and are not fun to share. However, a nonfiction book should be, it should hold your reader's attention all the way to the end. It should build, know, like, and trust, follow a predictable structure, make them want to learn more about you, and make the reader excited to share your book. I'm about to reveal a strategy formed from over 12 years of best-selling publishing and years of top-ranking sales experience. It follows proven strategies from psychology, sales, and education. I used to be a science teacher, a high school teacher for 10 years. Here are the three core elements for creating nonfiction. The first E is emotion. So this starts in the introduction to your book, and it's where you connect with the reader's heart by relating to them, showing them you understand their problem, their pain, just as well as they do. Because remember, if you can explain their problem as well or better than they can, then they naturally believe 
that you can solve that problem for them as well. And the second E is entertainment. Entertainment is all about story. Your story, your customer stories, examples, and so on. Stories are powerful, as you heard in Jim's talk early, earlier, super powerful in some cases. Story starts before you start teaching because your reader first needs to know and like you before they can trust you. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video and I wanna let you know that I have a new book that's come out and if you'd like to get it absolutely free, there's a link below in the description or you can wait till the end of this video or you can simply go to joesfreebook.com and you can get a copy there. A viral book also follows an award-winning story arc that starts at the beginning of your book, book, builds tension throughout, and then finishes with an emotional bang that sets your reader into action. The third E is education. Now most books, nonfiction books, only focus on education. But if you skip the know and like stages, how on earth do you get them to trust you? And you know what they call a book that's only education? A textbook. How many people here really like to read a textbook? So people buy your book because they want to learn, but they read your book because of your story, because you've shown that you understand their problem. Now, don't worry about writing all of this down because it's in your handout. What I do want you to get from this is that all three E's work together to create action. Not just action, but massive action. One book I published included only one call to action, but this one call to action had a 62% conversion rate. Oops. A book when properly written can produce conversion rates that blow Facebook ads out of the water. How? By following the 3E method of building know, like, and trust throughout the book. Your book is your best salesperson. A book written with that 3E method will become your most effective salesperson. My business partner, Andrew, and I were both previously sales professionals, both for about 10 years each. Andrew realized that this exact same process helped him to become a top national five percenter in his old company. Imagine having thousands of salespeople on your team working one-on-one -on -one with your prospect. They're available 24 seven. So your dream client can wake up in the middle of the night and start connecting on their phone or simply open your book that engages them from the first page. And they never show up late for work, unprepared or hungover. So can you imagine the selling power if you sold even 1000 books? But to achieve any of this, you first need to use all three steps of the 3E e method. Emotion, which gets your reader to know you and let them know that you know them. Entertainment, so your reader comes to like you through your shared story. And education, so your reader trusts you and sees you as an expert. When all three of these E's are connected in the correct order, your reader will be much more likely to take action. For many published authors, their book has resulted in multiple millions of dollars worth of happy readers eager to do business with them. One of the authors that we worked with went on to make close to $1 million in one year solely from his book and its content. We came up with an ingenious way to partner with a large university. Andrew and I are almost done with our own book Hook, Line, and Book, a story structure that catches customers and never lets them go. In this book, not only do we go into more detail about using the 3E method, we also give away our entire proven system for writing books created from years of book publishing and salesmanship. We also wrote it to be the perfect example of how to incorporate the three E's into a powerfully effective book. And for Genius Network members, just send an email to me at chris at conversionpublishing.com and I'll make sure that you get a free ebook version and a special bonus to go with it. Now, every one of us has a book inside of us, a book that will impact others. All, you, all of you have earned 
tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise. And there are thousands or even hundreds of thousands of people who need to hear your message. Now, the thought of writing an entire book sounds daunting to you. I have a few simple ideas that you can do just to get started. One, start by writing a list of your stories. You don't have to write the stories out, just create a list so that you can refer back to that. Two, write a table of contents. This can be the business steps you teach customers or how your products provide a specific solution. Or if you want conversion publishing to write your book for you using your existing content, just reach out to me. We all have excuses for why we can't write a book yet. This was Martin Pistorius. Martin was like any other boy playing and loving life until he was 12 years old. And when he was 12 years old, he fell into, he lost all voluntary motor control and fell into a vegetative state for three years. He began regaining consciousness around 16, but it was three more years before he gained full consciousness. And even then remained completely paralyzed except for his eyes. He was unable to communicate with anyone until his caregiver noticed that he was responding to her with his eyes. Imagine being trapped in your body for 12 years, over half of those years, fully intelligent, fully aware, but not able to move a muscle or communicate with anyone. Eventually, he was able to communicate again and slowly regained his strength. And then he met a woman and had a son and wrote a book. And to be a little vulnerable with you, I actually did cry when I read this book because it is a powerful story. So what will it take for you to start writing your own book? Okay, I hope you found that video awesome and useful. So if you wanna get a free copy of my book, I want you to click here. And if you wanna watch some more videos that'll be useful and awesome, click here. Go ahead, get her over here, do it now. Come on, thank you, watch them.